Conditions, right? So you can look at the horizontal and the vertical polarizing. Now if you have the first filter that allows only vertical light through, only the vertical oscillations come through. Second filter with vertical polarizing capability blocks everything that's not vertically polarized. So the, verti the light comes through. On the other hand, same situation, light from the flashlight with all different orientations comes through here. This filter allows only the vertically polarized light through. This filter does not allow vertically polarized light to get through. So all the vertically polarized light gets stopped here and no light comes through. That's why we saw the filter on, over her mouth was totally dark. The illustration of this is with this uh, like wooden pallets, right? So if you have these, the, the openings between the slats in the pallet and you have a rope coming through and you oscillate the rope vertically up and down, if both of these pallets are oriented so that the slots are vertical, the wave is able to come through. On the other hand, if you have this pallet oriented vertical and this oriented horizontally, the vertical wave is able to get through this pallet, but not this one. So here it stops and it's not able to get through at all, right? So no intensity comes through. Introducing then the concept of a hologram. You probably, you've probably all seen Star Wars, you saw Princess Leia, right? So you know what a hologram is, right? Okay, so. I'm sorry? Flash with episode seven, I think I'm Missed it. Oh, oh, I see Star Wars, yeah, Disney, yes. Okay, so a hologram basically is a, the hologram, there are two different words, I mean the word is used for two different uh, things in this, among these slides. What we colloquially are aware of is the fact that the hologram is basically a three-dimensional image, right? It looks like a three-dimensional image, you can walk around it, it looks totally three-dimensional and so forth, as opposed to two-dimensional images from a photograph, right? Now, you can create a hologram here and you can view the hologram here. So two different components to this. So to create the hologram, you have a laser beam that comes to a diverging lens that then goes through a converging lens which makes a broad parallel beam. Part of the parallel beam goes to a mirror that reflects off of the mirror and part of the, the incoming laser beam goes to the object that scatters off of the object. So this wave scattering off the object and the mirror reflected wave, they interfere with each other to create an interference pattern. You use film to capture the interference pattern. So it's really like a, a squiggly mess, right? What you have on the film and people, physicists, refer to this as a hologram, which it's not, but they call it a hologram, right? It's really a two-dimensional representation of the interference pattern. Now you can take this plate and use it, just store it, then later if you want to recreate the hologram, the three-dimensional image, here's what you do. You have the plate that you had created here, the photographic plate, which they're calling a hologram, which it's not. Laser beam comes onto the plate, and now what happens is you look at this plate from here, and there are two things that happen. One is, when you look at this plate, you see a virtual image that is three-dimensional. It looks three-dimensional. You can kind of tilt your head, and you can see this three-dimensional image. But it's virtual. If I were to put a screen here, nothing would show up on the screen. It's like the, the image that you see when you look into a mirror, right? You can't put a screen behind the mirror and see something on that screen. And on the other hand, with this geometry over here, you end up with a real image. You can put, actually put a screen here and see a two-dimensional representation of the three-dimensional object on the screen. And this would be a real image because it does show up on a screen. Cool? So that about captures the various concepts in this uh, chapter. So just a reminder for you to go ahead and do the, uh, the questions. Cool?